Hey, this is Louis D. Fresh bringing it to you on a Friday. Uh, today we're going to continue with our water parameters playlist. Uh, remember, reviewing, we've done already, we've done pH, we've done ammonia, we've done nitrites, and today we're going to be doing nitrates. Uh, one of the cool things, and there are many cool things about doing the YouTube stuff and social media, is uh, a middle-aged man like myself, like myself has learned quite a bit on uh, on things on the hobby that I kind of took for granted. I know lots of people are always take are always checking water and, and what have you. Uh, I'm one who does it. I do not check water. I'm not going to sit here and lie. But uh, this YouTube has really encouraged me to encourage you that yes, maybe you should check out the water because the reality is, is that, oh, as you can see, my, my finger's getting better. The uh, surgery went well. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the reality is I know lots of people go through fish like they go through their socks and uh, that's not good. So maybe you should check the water, wait until it gets stable and then you should be ready to rock and roll. So uh, today we're going to be talking about in our fourth installment of the Water Parameters Playlist, nitrates. What are nitrates? They are a byproduct of pretty much the same stuff that, uh, that ammonia does uh is coming from and nitrites as well uh feces decaying plant overfeeding overstocking so similar very very similar but however this is not as fatal as a, as a nitrite or ammonia as with ammonia and um nitri and nitrites you really want to keep the level very low because in this case for nitrates if they are too high uh, they're susceptible to diseases, which could then cause death, and they're not able to reproduce. And I know some hobbyists, that's a really big deal for them to reproduce. You are able to find these slides on my social media this past Friday. I've been in two installments, so you see this is part two. Uh, the, what I just did was part one, those are a, a part of it. And, today, and right now, in part two from the Friday segment this past Friday, was how to reduce those nitrates because they are indeed undesirable. Again, I'm not going to run through every slide, but here, uh, which I mentioned previously on several occasions, feed smaller amounts uh, and fewer days per week. I can't lie, as a, as a kid, I used to feed my, my fish three times a day. I figured I ate three times a day. Fish should eat three times a day. And the older and, and wiser I've gotten with the hobby, I've realized that indeed smaller amounts and fewer times per week. As I've told you previously, I feed my fish twice a week. One large pinch twice a week. Can't overemphasize this enough. Use tap water conditioner during water changes. Your tap water generally has a lot of chlorine, copper, uh, in order for you to shower and, and, and cook and, and things of that nature. So always use a tap water conditioner. Uh, consult Google for your favorite one. Mine is from API. It is indeed called tap water conditioner. Also, I believe, uh, I really am a big fan of, of keeping live plants. Uh, I remember as, when I was younger, probably in my early 20s, uh, live plants were really a challenge to keep alive because you generally knew it was fluorescent light. I'm talking about literally about 30 years ago uh, because I'm, I'm 50 now. So keeping live plants, you just kind of have fluorescent light and that's not the case. You need special lighting. And again, we will, we will spend uh, videos on it, on, on how to take care of your, your live plants. But my plants are kept outside and it really, really does help in the respect of keeping your nitrates down to a minimum, I hope, because we're gonna try it out together and I've never tested nitrates before. Let's go outside and see what's up. Hey, I am back outside here uh, by my lake, the uh, the learning tool that I like to call uh, home. Um, we're gonna check out the uh, the water here in the, in the lake for the nitrates. Remember, we've already, again, reviewing. We've done pH, we've done uh, ammonia, we've done nitrites, and we're doing nitrates in this particular YouTube video. If you look back on my social media this past week, you will notice as I'm showing you the lake, the rainy season has gotten started. And uh, check out that little coconut growing out of that, uh, that plant growing out of the coconut, pretty cool. These are my, my brothers and sisters, they're the, uh, the ducks. And here's the, the lake, notice how, how much it's gotten higher. Uh, and notice the grass has gotten higher. And today we're out and about, as you can see, uh, we do have some, some cloud cover during the rainy season here. 
But we also have Sahara dust. So that's Sahara dust, yes, from the actual Sahara Desert in Africa. And that's why it's not raining. And that's why I waited to today because it's been raining all week. And so that's why it's cloudy, but yet it's not raining because of the African dust. I know we're still doing a little deja vu or, or groundhog, day, groundhog Day action by uh, kind of reviewing the places where I'm getting the water from. But I think it's always worth uh, checking it out again where, where I get stuff from. And as you could tell, one of the great things here in South Florida uh, is that the, uh, the people who mow lawns and cut grass and whatever, all this gardening stuff, they make a mint. And that sound that you hear in the background, that is all the time. No matter what day of the week, it's all the time somebody's cutting something. So anyway, little side note. Let's check out the tap water, shall we? Here's our tap water again. The tap, very same tap water that I'm going to test. The very same tap water that I use for my, for my plants, as you see here, and for my fish. As weird as it sounds, I'm going to, uh, but not, not this part. But I'm going to take out water from, uh, from this tank, which I've been taking out, uh, out of uh, all these days. Um, you know, for these, for these past three ones, the pH, the ammonia, the nitrites, and now the nitrates. But uh, I, I, that's, it's funny, but I want to share it with you. Um, every once in a while, um, I, you know, as people videotape or whatever, they always want to put the, as I scratch my nose, the best foot forward. But I decided I'm not going to do that. Um, nature is kind of interesting because I know people always uh, take out dead fish. Uh, and every once in a while, just because of, of mother nature and these fish, my fish have been here forever and ever and ever. Uh, I don't take out dead fish and I want to show you what happens to a dead fish if I can see it. I'm not sure if I can, but uh, I'll try. Gotta press pause. You'll notice, even though that's dirty because there's dirt here from the rain, you'll notice right here there's, there's my albino pleco and he's munching on a dead fish. I say, well, 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 Louis D. Fresh, why don't you take it out? Because that's nature. Every once in a while, a fish will die because because they do and instead of me taking care of it i let my brother here the the bristle nose albino pleco take care of it and you see all my other brothers here are doing really well the plants are going well and la 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 there's a bunch of shrimp in here there's a bunch of uh there's a bunch of uh what do you call those feeder guppies in here this place is really a jungle i mean it, it really is and so we're gonna check out what goes on and uh, how my nitrate level is. This is my, my assistant, Kali. Kali, Kali's hot, but she insists on coming outside with me while I do the video. As she uh, now hears the, the neighbor's dog. All right, go back to the to the video. <laughs> All right, I am back in action here. I'm gonna try again, try to keep it as brief. Again, freshwater uh, master test kit. It's funny, I got this, I, all joking aside, I got this in September. And I'm you. I'm getting to it now. Remember my Wallstad Bell ball bowl. Here it is. Uh, and over here are my my solo cups. Again, tap uh, my lake water. You can see I'm not I'm not making it up here, huh? My t lake water, tap water, and aquarium water. And again, the obvious is not obvious. Remember, follow the directions. And even for crazy people like me, I read the directions that I see it here on the bottle. Bottle one. It says 10 drops, bottle two, 10 drops. And let's check it out. Again, looking at mother nature and lake, uh, there are no nitrates at all. You see it's yellow, 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 yellow. There are no nitrates in our lake. So uh, even without the, all the rain that we've gotten, everything is still where it should be. And the fish in the lake are doing well because the nitrates are non non-existent. All right, here we go. A little shout out to uh, South Florida. Uh, there are no nitrates in our water, in our tap water. Uh, that's very encouraging. Thank God. I, I've been pleasantly surprised uh, with the tap water here in South Florida. It's, uh, it's all been very, very good. So no nitrates in the tap water. All right, here we go. Once again, we're going to take a look at the aquarium water and hope it passes the nitrate test. I'm gonna get really up close here because I want you to see that there is 
it is completely yellow just as it is here and it's been yellow in all of them the nitrates now I want you to see there are no nitrates in the water right so it is in good shape and again why am I really emphasizing the the aquarium besides the fact that my fish are in there is that there was a dead fish I am NOT taking out that dead fish and that is a cycle of life you will get dead fish from time to time. I mean, it's it's rare. That's why I looked when I before when I shot the video. I'm like shooting the video. I'm like, oh my god, there's a dead fish in there. It is a real rarity, uh, and so I, I really wanted you to, to see real life. Uh, I, I don't like to to sugarcoat things, and so every once in a while you do get a dead fish, but that's the beauty of it that you they do reproduce, and you get more, and so, and there's a ton of shrimp in there. I mean, a ton. And I, I think that's really the majority of that tank. Shrimp and, I mean, cherry shrimp, gold shrimp, mono shrimp. I mean, and then there's tons of feeder goldfish. There, I mean, you name it, there's in there. Uh, so, and everything is very good. So, there you go. That's, we have one more thing to do with our water parameters, which I'm not telling you yet. And then after that, eh, every once in a blue, we're just gonna, we're gonna check maybe for a one or two different things just to, uh, every so often because, um, because I think, you, even though I don't, I think you should because uh, especially as you're getting used to something uh, I want to make sure that that before you're you, you start getting oh it's wonderful that indeed it is wonderful anyway that's the weedy fresh I hope you enjoyed it uh, I hope you enjoy my sweating too because it is June uh, 2021 um, oh and happy Father's Day for those people who are celebrating in, in the United States and uh, that's it before the video got too long thank you guys for watching and uh, this is the weedy fresh